Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to share to use global keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and by default, in Reaper, if we hit the space bar, it's going to play our track like this. And if we hit it again, it stops the track. That's by default. But there are contexts where the spacebar won't work. For example, on my drum track, I have an EQ on the track effects. And when this is open and I hit play, oh, oh, oh. it still works. But if I click in any of the text boxes over here, if I want to change this parameter and hit the spacebar, it puts a space in that box. It doesn't play our track. In order to do that, we have to click outside the box, and then it works again. Oh, oh, oh. But if we click in here and type a space, it doesn't play our track. And that can be annoying if you like to type in your parameters and have it play and stop your track very quickly. But there's one preference we could use to change that. If we go up here to Options, and down here to Preferences, and go up here on the General Keyboard, there's a preference right here that we could choose when the spacebar key is pressed in Plugin Text Fields, it's going to send to the main window. In other words, it's going to play our track. So with this chosen, and we click in this Effects text box, we type a space, It plays and stops our track. So this preference is going to work even if we don't use global keyboard shortcuts. But it only works for these text boxes. In other contexts, it won't. Let's take a look. Let's open up our screen sets, go up here to view, and choose screen sets or layouts. When this is open and we hit our space bar, it doesn't play our track. We get an error alert when we hit the spacebar. And it'll be the same in any tab in this window. We can't use the spacebar to play our track unless we click outside the context. And then it works again. Another example if we go to the view menu and go down to the track manager, it'll be the same in here. Notice by default, Reaper expects us to search for tracks like bass or piano. But with this open and we type the spacebar, it doesn't play our track. It has a space in the filter. And it's the same in the Project Media Effects Bay. It defaults to the filter. So if we type in the spacebar, it doesn't play our track. And it's also the same in our media item properties. If we double click an item, it opens up the media item properties for that item. And by default, if we start typing, it's going to type in here. So if we type the space bar, it puts a space in that box. So we can't use the space bar to play in this context either. But we can if we change the space bar to a global keyboard shortcut. So let's do that. Let's go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List. We'll choose Find Shortcut and type in the spacebar. We can see over here it defaults to the Transport, Play, and Stop with our spacebar. So if we double click it over here, we could change the scope over here. It's set to Normal. We could change it to Global or Global plus Text Fields. If we just choose Global, it'll work in a few more contexts. So if we open up our screen sets, now it'll work in here. Oh, 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 hold up. For playing and stopping. But if we open up the track manager, it doesn't work in here because it defaults to the filter, so it defaults to a text box. And the same thing with the Project Media Effects Bay. It types a space in here, 
And also the media item properties. If we type a space, it puts a space on the take name. So if we want this to work in more contexts, we'll just go back to the actions menu, to this action, double click it, and change it from global or normal to global plus text fields. And now, if we type the space bar in any context, it's going to play and stop our track. Oh, uh. So now we could open up the screen sets and our space bar still works. Oh, uh. We could open up the track manager and it works in here as well. Oh, uh. And the project media effects bay and the media item properties. Oh, uh, and even if we open up that EQ and put our cursor here, hit play, oh, uh, hold up. it plays and stops our transport from here. Even if we turn off this preference from before, because we made this keyboard shortcut a global and text keyboard shortcut. Hit the space bar, oh, uh, and it still works with this text box active. Now, if we need to type in a space, let's reopen media item properties. Let's say we wanted to add a space in this. Let's say we wanted to name it base track. If I type in a space, oh, uh, it's going to play our track. So if we really want a space for these text boxes, we could use shift spacebar instead. Hit shift spacebar, type track, and then we get a space in our text. And if we want to play or stop our track, we could just use the spacebar. Oh, uh. So if you find yourself not using the spacebar to type text very often, we could use it to trigger our transport instead. In any context in Reaper, it's going to play and stop our track. Type it. Oh, uh, and hit it again to stop. This is also going to work with other keyboard shortcuts. Let me give you an example. Let's do it with this closed. If I type in Control S on the PC or Command S on the Mac, and that opens up our save dialog. But if we do this, with a plugin active, watch what happens. Instead of opening up our save dialog, the dialog opens up to save an effects chain. Because our menus change when the effects are open to look like this, with completely different menus. So we're going to save our effects chain instead. So if you don't want that preference and you want to save in any context in Reaper, you might want to make that global as well. So let's close this, open up our actions, go to find shortcut, type in that shortcut. You can see right here, it's going to save our project. Just double click it and change the scope from normal to global or global plus text fields. I'll choose this one, save it. And now, even if our effects window is open, I can hit that keyboard shortcut and it's going to open up our save dialog, not for saving our effects chain, but for saving our project. And again, this will work in any context in Reaper. And this will work for other things as well. For example, if I want to open up the actions menu, I could type the keyboard shortcut question mark. And that opens up the actions menu. But if there's an effects window open, like I said before, the menus change. So if I hit the question mark, it doesn't do anything. So instead, we could change that keyboard shortcut as well. Let's open up our actions, go to find shortcut, type in the question mark. We can see right here, the question mark is going to open up our action list. We could double click over here, change the scope to global or global plus text fields, which is only an issue if you type question marks into a lot of the text fields, choose this, 
and that changes it. And now, no matter what, if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up the actions. So if we have an effects window open, we can then open up our actions in any context in Reaper. Our screen sets, hit the keyboard shortcut, we can see our actions, the project media effects bay, hit the keyboard shortcut to open up our actions, and even the media item properties. Let's double click this. Normally, the question mark wouldn't work. We type a question mark in here, just hit it, and we can open up the actions menu just like this. So using global keyboard shortcuts, makes our keyboard shortcuts work in any context. In other words, they're now global instead of working in certain windows. Depending on how you work, it could be a bit more useful than how it's set up in the defaults. So that's pretty much it. That's using global keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.